Welcome to the series of videos where I draw anything to fill and enrich my visual library and be able to draw from memory. In this case, I decided to start with animals, specifically wolves, because I like them. Wolves are an interesting subject. They have a structure that, if you draw it well, uh, teaches you a lot about how to approach complex figures. It's not just about drawing a realistic animal, but understanding the basic shapes and how to adapt them to what you want to achieve. When you draw a wolf or any other animal, what I try to do is to break it down into simple shapes at first a head, a body, and then gradually refine everything else. So as I proceed, I don't focus too much on details at first. I always think in terms of volumes, of how the wall's body moves through its space. This is a crucial part of the process because if you jump right into drawing every single hair, uh, you'll get lost in unnecessary details too soon. First and foremost, it's about understanding the animal's movement and energy. For wolves, I think the key is capturing their posture. They are lean, muscular creatures, and there's an elegance to their form that's important to maintain in the drawing. I find it helpful to use fluid, loose lines when sketching the initial uh, structure. I don't worry too much about precision because I know that comes later when I start working with shadows and details. Um, now I'm working on the head. The most important part, in my opinion, is capturing the shapes of uh, the muscle. Wolves have this long muscle that tapers toward the nose, and if you can represent that shape correctly, everything else starts to come together more naturally. When I move on to inking, I like to think of this as the moment when the drawing really comes to life. Here you begin to see the definitive lines, uh, the ones that will stay and define the piece. Inking is also a great way to clean up the drawing. All those guidelines I trace at the beginning are there to give direction, but now I can set them aside and focus on making everything cleaner and more decisive. One thing to keep in mind when drawing fur is that you should never draw every single hair. It slows everything down and doesn't even look natural. It's better to suggest textures and with, with a few decisive strokes in the right places, especially where the light hits and creates stronger shadows. I leave the rest loser. You don't need to cover every millimeter because the viewer's eye will fill in the gaps. Now I'm working on the shadows. Light is what makes a drawing three-dimensional. Here I'm using light shading to give volume to the walls. It's easy to overdo it with shadows, but you always have to remember to keep a balance. Too many shadows can weigh the image down while too few make everything look flat. I try to keep a light and making small adjustments uh, until I find the right contrast between the darker and lighter parts.
I'm starting to outline the body of the second wolf. When drawing multiple animals in the same scene, it's essential to pay attention to the proportions between them. They don't have to be perfect, but consistent. If one looks too big or too small compared to the others, uh, you lose the realism and harmony of the piece. At this stage, I'm just focusing on laying down the basic shapes the volumes. Think of everything like a skeleton and structure to build on. One thing I try to do when drawing multiple objects in the same piece is to make them interact visually. These three wolves aren't just three separate animals, they are connected. Maybe one is looking in the direction of the other, or the posture of one influences that of its neighbor. It's important to create a narrative when you are simply drawing. This uh, doesn't mean you need to tell a complex story, but even just a simple visual connection can make the drawing more interesting. At this point, I'm refining the last details. This is always a satisfying moment because you finally see the piece take its full shape. I make small corrections, maybe add a few more lines where needed to highlight the volumes or better define some details. Remember that drawing from reference uh, helps you memorize shapes and details so that over time you can recreate images from memory with more confidence. In the end, the process is always the same. Start with simple shapes, add details and then refine everything. But none of this will make sense without the right gestural strokes. So check out this video here to understand how. Bye.